We thank God for that. You know, uh, at this time, we'd like to welcome everyone here on this afternoon. We want to thank God for Bishop uh, Johnson and the entire tribe of Judah Christian Church for allowing us to use the facility to be able to do what we do. Let's give God a hand of praise for that. <laughs> Marriage is honorable. Marriage is real honorable. I promise you I'm not going to be long. You know, I'm a project preacher, and my daughter told me to keep it on the project level. You know, I'm not trying to be funny. When I minister sometimes, you know, it comes to you funny. That's just my personality, but the truth can come to you one or two ways. Either to make you laugh or to make you cry, but it showed us the truth. You know, some of us are witnessing something that we thought would never would have happened. I say we thought it never would have happened. You know, uh, uh, Lamont and Chanel lived right across the street from me. And I remember when they was going through transition and how uh, folks said, well, girl, you won't you just give up? You lost your mind. Yo, he don't want you. You tell that devil he's a lie. They down here today, ain't they? This is a marriage of faith. This is a marriage of commitment. This is a marriage of perseverance. And let me just say this to somebody who out there. If you believe in God for something, I don't care what the devil has told you, you hold on to God I'll give you what he told you. I feel like preaching, right? It? But I know we're going to do a ceremony because the Bible already told me, hey, Jackson, I got you. But I'm a project preacher. I got my burn on me, too. <laughs> Woo! He already told me in the back room. But I know we're here. And I want us to kind of relax up because this is a celebration. When they got married, and, and testament times, they knew that they parted for weeks. For weeks. They celebrated. So I'm telling us right now, we need to loosen up a little bit because you've been to witness something that supernatural where the devil said would never happen. But I know somebody else out there. Some of you young ladies. You know, those who've been believing God and don't seem like your baby daddy acting right. <laughs> Trust me. If you just get on your knees and continue to fast and pray, he will get right. Come on now. Let me just throw this out there for free. They all saved too. Come on now. I'm their pastor. When she came to church, she brought his picture. She sat right there in the chair. And when somebody tried to sit in there, she said, no, oh, my husband's sitting right here. <laughs> and I believe because of her commitment, because of her doing it, because the Bible says the wife can sanctify the husband. Stop, stop talking about what he ain't doing. Brothers, I'm coming your way in a few minutes, eh? But I told you, a woman have a level of influence, a man have a level of authority. If a woman God set the temperature in her house, she can pretty much get anything else she wants. She get the Gucci purse. Yes, she can. She get the Louis Vuitton purse. She get her hair did. Yes. Come on now. So you mean to tell me that you have that same influence, you don't know how to use it? I'm sharing it with us today because let me tell you something. We are here. And we're gathered in the sight of God in the presence of this company to witness Lamont and Chanel pledge their ball in this holy estate, which is marriage. In Genesis, God said it's not good that man should be alone. He will make him a help me, suitable for him. And let me tell you something. When God puts someone in your life that's suitable for you, the scripture said, let no man put us asunder. So right now, I'm believing God that they will be married until death do them a part. Yeah. Until death do them a part. Because the Bible says this. It said in Genesis, it said, a man should leave his mother and his father and cleave to his own wife. Let me help you with something. They told us wrong. When they marry each other, they ain't marrying the family. Woo! <laughs> they not marrying the family. They marry into the family, but they're not marrying the family. You got to understand some Chanel and Levant. When y'all marry each other, the Bible says that y'all come together. Y'all stay together. And don't let nothing separate you all. Because let me tell you something. The Bible says our enemy is among our household. I'm in the book. Our enemy among our household because we think, because I got to marry, I don't have to marry you and your mama and your, your daddy. You got me messed up. Because let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Every marriage will be faced with several storms. They're going to 
family faced with all kind of troubles and trials. They got enough. So what we need you to do today, family, start praying. Amen. Protect them. Because God, out of, especially when you get out of fornication, I'm looking at some fornicators now. Don't have me call you out. If you know what I'm talking about, just start blinking. I don't want to get you in trouble. Just start blinking. I'm going to turn around. <laughs> because I'm telling you, the Bible says when we lay down with somebody, we take on their spirit. So I've been praying. I say, God bless them to get married. Because like I say, long you stay in fornication, your, your blessings are hindered. Right. Young lady, you fooling yourself that you keep sleeping with us and we're going to marry you. No, close your leg. <laughs> when this said, I can do bad all about myself. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> you, need to, you need to tell some of them brothers, leave me alone. Right. Fantasia said, if you don't want me, then don't talk to me. <laughs> Go ahead and free yourself. That's what Fantasia said. But see, what we're doing, we want to mix a whole lot of things together. Let me tell you something. One of the sad tragedies that we're facing in America, we have more divorces in the church than outside the church. So we already got a lopsided thing. But let me tell you something. God before you, he more than the world against you. Well, preach when you don't get to the, to the balls. I'm, I'm on it right now. I told you I'm project. Because what I want you to do, I want to make sure you understand what's going on right now. Because some of you may don't get it. Look at YouTube. We're going to put it on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, we put it on YouTube. Because some of you need to play it over and over and over and over again. Because some of you are on the verge of giving up. And I've double dog there. You're hang on in there and don't give up. So we want to talk about how God talked about in Genesis. You know how he tell a man to marry a woman. That's what they demonstrate on this evening. They are coming together in marriage. They look good too. Look at, look at this. Yeah. Look at them. I'm glad we got the camera because they say they, you never know how good you look until you had your picture took. <laughs> so I want to talk about the statement of marriage. Lamana Chanel, you're about to pledge the most sacred vow that one person make one with another. As you stand before the witness of God in this covenant, it is important that you give carefully consideration to that which you are promising. Right now, y'all have the option. Y'all don't want to do it to walk away. Because see, some of us, sometimes we give out the invitations, we invite everybody, we get the hall, and instead of us saying, no, we're not going to do it, we get up getting married, then two months, three months down the line, we end up breaking up. You have the right right now, because I ain't signed no papers. Right now, you can walk. Because once you do this, God is looking at the vow that you're going to make right now on today. You got the honor. You got to honor one another. When we look at that word honor, we got to respect one another. We can't be nagging and doing all that. Because that's not God's will. God wants us to work together. If you look at the word honor, honor is found 222 times in the Bible. So you got to honor one another. You really have to honor one another. But let's get to why we're here. Let's get to the vows. Somebody say, preach get to the vows. Get to the vows. <laughs> Lamont and Chanel, you have listened to the sober explanation of the meaning of the vows we're about to make. These vows are the binding and adversary as well as them in poverty and prosperity. In other words, you got to love them when it's going good, and you got to love them when it's going bad. You got to. You cannot break up because things are not going right. You got to. And we got some folks right now. They said big money, big man. Look money, look man. No money. I think y'all got it. I think y'all got it. I think y'all got it. I think y'all got that one. So you listen to this. You got to be together. Lamont and 